had three moments of truth since we met in April and voted to proceed with our permanent spiritual home, so I'd like to share those this morning. Um, the first one was that night after the vote, when I went home, I thought, what is mine to do here as one individual? What can I do to make this home ha this permanent spiritual home happen? And I started thinking about how I spend my money. And I thought about how many times it's a want and how many times it's a need. And so I decided to focus more on needs. And when there was a want, to think deeply about it and to say, can my church family use this more or do I need it more? And many times I don't need it at all. I have more than enough to be happy and content. Um, so I think there's a lot of power that an individual can make. Secondly, I committed to participating in the permanent spiritual prayer calls every night whenever I could. And even when I was up north visiting my mom, I would excuse myself around 9 o'clock and go in and use my cell phone um, and, and make the call. And several evenings, my mom's boyfriend came up to watch TV, and he was asking what I was doing, and I told him. And he was so impressed and moved by the idea of a church pulling together and praying every night that he gave me a cash donation to give to the church. And it was one of the sweetest gestures of spirit I've ever seen. Uh, so that just shows us the power of community and what we can do. And then I thought, we shouldn't have to do this alone. There's a whole universe out there waiting to help us. And I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but a lot of nights I'll wake up in the middle of the night and there'll be this nagging idea. And I'm like, no, no, I don't want to do that. But it keeps coming. And so what um, kept coming to me in the middle of the night is that I needed to write a letter to Oprah Winfrey. Isn't that strange? <laughs> so these crazy ideas that come to me. Um, so I, after a few weeks, I decided to draft a letter. And I really prayed on it. And what I told her was how much I had been moved and changed by her 21-day meditations with Deepak Chopra, and also by her um, Super Soul Sunday shows where she interviews new thought authors and spiritual leaders. And I told her how profound her interviews with Maya Angelou had been. And at the end of those interviews, she asked Dr. Angelou, are you affiliated with any church? And she said, no, but if I was, I think it would be unity. So I wanted her to know that I had found unity as well, and I explained um, how much it had changed my life. And I didn't ask her for money. I just sent her a copy of um, our prayer and asked if she would pray with us. And I thought, if Spirit moves her to send $3 million or more, I would have that. So um, I think the lesson here is to heed that still small voice that, that we hear. So I believe moments of truth are constantly speaking to our minds and our hearts and that they'll all come together and add up to a beautiful new permanent spiritual home and so much more for us. Thanks.